Hello, hello, it's Kat again. Welcome to the Fire Tuna Club channel. So, today I have something really exciting to show you. For those of you out there who make one of a kind custom dolls, this is a tutorial on how to make detachable or even interchangeable wings. This is not a tutorial about how to make wings. This tutorial assumes you already know how to make a wing or already have wings on hand. This is showing you a new method to attach them to your doll. Now before I explain my two methods of how to do this, I just want to say, after I made the third doll, I decided to stop and just go with what I had because I'm not making that many winged dolls. So this method is experimental. So if you want to try to figure out your own ways to improve it, let me know. I want to hear how it goes for you. You're going to need a couple of things to get started. Firstly, you need your wings. Secondly, hit up a hardware store, get some ring terminals, screws and bolts, and also some super glue. I would suggest gel super glue, but regular super glue will work fine too. It just kind of gets a little bit all over the place. In order to prep your ring terminals to continue working on your wings, you're going to want to strip off the insulation. Now, I grabbed some cardboard to protect my desk, as I've already put enough holes into it, and it's a really nice desk. But you'll also need an X-Acto knife and a pair of pliers for safety's sake. What you'll want to do is get your pliers, hold the ring terminal, and take your X-Acto knife and run it on the flat side of your ring terminal in order to easily cut off the insulation. After you've got a cut in it, it'll just slip right off. Once you have your ring terminals prepped, you'll want to take your wing and measure the ring terminal against the extruding wire from your wing so that you don't have excess because that will actually cause issues in terms of being able to pose and move your wings. And I'm going to stop myself right there. I used hot glue for this method. It does not work. It will come loose. I would suggest perhaps using a metal on metal glue like E6000 or super glue. I'm sure there is a local equivalent that will work on metal on metal because I have already had to correct and super glue two wings that have fallen off since this recording. Now that you have your wings prepared, I'm going to show you the two different methods I developed to make the mounting work for your wings. Check out this little chart real quick to see the pros and cons of both methods. If you want to watch both of them, keep watching, otherwise you can skip, timestamps will be listed. Doll Model Upretta here is just going to show you that first thing you need to do is figure out exactly where you want your wings to be placed. If you want them between the shoulder blades, you will have to sand it down some. If you want it right at the base of the neck, all you have to do is super glue your nut on. No matter what, you're probably going to have to drill the screw hole in so that the screw can actually go into the doll without pushing out and then you can get your wings as flush to the body as you can manage. Once you've figured out where you're going to place your nut, mark the center on the spine of the doll so you can figure out exactly where you're drilling the hole for the screw. Once you have that done, you're just going to want to super glue the nut in place. That being said, here's the example of the first doll that I had attempted this method on. Keep in mind you will have to get pliers to hold the nut in place as you screw and unscrew the bolt to put the wings in, as the super glue is a good hold, but it is not perfect. I had several instances where I was trying to screw the wings on where I would just pop the nut out of place, so you do need to hold the nut in place when changing. It is required. All right, let's jump right into method two. What you're gonna wanna go ahead and do before you start doing your epoxy, pardon for all the doll butt. I apparently had terrible aim that day. You're gonna wanna get all the screws you're using for the wings. For me, I was using three sets of wings. So I had three screws with a screw slightly screwed into the nut so that I had a place to mark for drilling later. The nice thing about this method is not only does it sculpt your doll and you can shape it as you want, but it also makes sure that there's a nice firm hold on the nuts so that you don't have to actually have pliers to remove the doll. Although I would recommend when you're screwing and unscrewing stuff, keep your fingers on the side of the epoxy and make sure that you're offering as much support as you can to make sure that nothing breaks later on.
I'm also mentioning this part just because I'm slightly bitter. Ignore the drying instructions on your package. No matter how many hours it says, give it a whole day. Because the Millie Putty I used, the drying time is about three hours depending on room temperature. I gave it a good six and you see the results of what happened with um, slight failure in drilling. This was easily corrected with some wood putty once everything was done and the nuts were set in place. I then put the wood putty in and made sure that the screw was not blocked in any way, shape, or form. So you can recover from mistakes like this. Once your epoxy has dried, what you're going to want to do is clean the area, make sure that there's no dust or debris getting in the way of the bond between your super glue and your nut, super glue the nut into the cavities that you've made, and then go ahead and blend the epoxy in either with paint or pastels to match your doll. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of this part because I was having a bit of a meltdown in terms of thinking how <laughs> ugly the epoxy looked on the back, but it actually did all turn out in the end. The thing you have to remember with the second method is it's probably not meant to be viewed, or if it is, you're kind of looking for extremes like wing muscles protruding out the back and then the nuts holding the ring terminal in place for the wings. Well, there you go. Two ways to make detachable wings and sneak peeks of dolls that are coming. I'm trying to make the videos as fast as I can, but I'm dolling faster than I'm editing. So thanks a bunch for watching, and I'll be posting more again soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've hit the end and you've seen plenty of YouTube videos before, you know the drill. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. If you want to keep up to date without missing any videos, press the little bell button. Oh, good lord.